because of Adam and Eve. A man married a woman, that's why humanity is now, there are nearly 8 billion human beings on the earth. Okay? In a few years' time, the number of human beings on the earth will be coming up to 8 billion, 8,000 million. Okay? Now, I already gave you a reason that in European countries, we are in beautiful United Kingdom. I am from Pakistan, but I am also British as well. I am Pakistani and also British. Okay? So we are standing in the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom, London is in the United Kingdom. Okay? Look around. How many people you see who are Asian? How many people you see who are African? Many, many, many. You know why? Because, because First World War, so many killings in Europe. Millions got killed. And then the, that's 1914, 1918, the First World War. So much loss of life in Europe. Okay, because that's where uh, mainly the First World War took place. And then the Second World War, from 1939 to 1945. Again, millions of people killed, okay, mainly in Europe. Then, because of so much loss of life. Jesus Christ is Lord. Ah. Excuse me, madam. Ma Madam, ma uh, you can come back if you want. Okay, anyway, yeah, she's a Christian lady. Okay, shall I carry on? Yes. Okay, so because of so many killings, uh, and these countries were economically high up, you know, industrialized countries, so they needed manpower. Why? They lost so much manpower in war. Okay, so they needed manpower. So they invited people from abroad. Okay, so that's why I mean we are here. Okay, and now when you people you say man, why is not man allowed to marry another man? So if man marries a man, that means if they are European, that means even more or less European. You understand? Because Muslims. Man cannot marry man. A man, Muslim man can marry a woman. And when a man marries a woman, they have children. But when man marries man, no children. When woman marries woman, no children. So if you Europeans are in favor of homosexuality, man marrying man, that means you are making sure that Europeans become less and less and less. But there are many men because yes. you, you uh, can adopt it a lot of people. Yes. Pardon? Uh, yes. Adopt it. Adopt it. Oh, adopt. Yeah. Many, yes. Many children yeah. Okay. In the world Thank you very much. Many children in the world are one. Yeah. 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 I understand. Or, I understand. In a, a, okay. People can bring her an I, opportunity in the lifetime and teach him. I understand what she said. She said you can. If a man marries a man, or woman, you know, homosexuality, or if a woman marries a woman, lesbianism, you said, okay, when a man marries a man, they cannot have children, okay, but they can adopt children. Yeah. So whose children they'll be adopting? Not their own children, somebody else's children. You understand? I so, know that. And, uh, they can afford it for another life to the world, but... But they don't have their own children. So yes. when they don't have their own children, that means less children for the European. Yes, Simple. I know it. But yeah. but so, it's, so do you want... It's better mm. uh, an adopted children that be happy that a child that uh, it is unwanted. But they won't be your own children. They are somebody else's children. They are yes. not your children. You and understand? Unfortunately, Okay, can I, can I ask you, I told you that by the year 2100, 
the non muslim statistics they tell us that there will be 16 million muslims in spain do you want the number of muslims to increase or do you want your own spanish people the original spanish your number to increase because the muslim man marries woman they have children so the number of muslim increase but when you in spain uh, you people a uh, man marries a man no children when you in spain a uh, woman marries a woman lesbianism no children so that means you will be becoming less and less but you also said that if a man marry a man or a this or a woman marry a woman and the population less the, the population yeah the children the children uh, but uh, now uh, Actually, I'm from Spain and I'm here to London, and here is very expensive, a lot. Expensive, uh, yeah. Food, uh, also, More uh, expensive yeah. than Spain. Yes. I know, you are right. If uh, a family can, uh, uh, can afford uh, to, uh, to uh, have a baby, no. Uh, this is no. No, okay, okay, listen, listen. No, Let me tell you. But yes. Can I, can I, can I tell you, look. Even if somebody is poor, they are not very rich. Look how many poor people in the world. The Muslims in Africa, the, in uh, Asia, Africa, Europe, North America, South America, Australasia. The Muslim might be poor, might be working class, might not be rich. But they get a Muslim man gets married with a Muslim woman and they still have children. And still those children, they can afford, they can grow up. I tell you how to save money. A person can save money if they, can, if they do not smoke. If they smoke, they will be spending, yeah. If they smoke, they'll be spending so much money to buy a cigarette packet. And if they smoke for uh, 40 years, that'll be thousands of pounds. Another thing, so smoking, not good according to Islamic teachings. And if a person drinks alcohol, according to Islamic teachings, alcohol is haram. So if a person drinks alcohol, and they let her drink alcohol for 40 years, 50 years, how much money they spend, so much money. So that, that money you waste, you don't drink alcohol, you save money. You don't uh, smoke cigarettes, you save money. You don't go to nightclubs, you save money. And when you save money, you can marry, you can have children, you can bring up children, okay? If you go outside the gate there, there is Muslim, you know, Quran in English, maybe Spanish as well. Other, you can get that. I tell you, Islam is the truth. You know, and Islam keeps growing. Islam is good. Why? Because it's reality. You cannot commit murder. You cannot com become robbers. Thank you very much. You need to become a Muslim, yeah? Thank you very much. Very nice manners. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, they were Spanish. And for those people who know the history of Spain, when uh, Garnata fell, the last Muslim uh, stronghold in Spain, and the number of Muslims became less and less, then there was a Spanish, I'm just uh, uh, ending up, okay, finalizing, because the two Spanish girls, they have left. So, as I said, they are from Spain, beautiful country, Spain, which was ruled by the Muslims from the year 711 AD to the year 1492 AD, when Granada fell, either nearly the whole of Spain, from the Pyrenees Mountains near Spain, all the way downwards, okay, or parts of Spain. So, nearly 800 years, the Muslims ruled Spain, okay. And the Muslims allowed people to keep their religion. And finally, when Garnata fell, the Christians took over. And what happened? Uh, by, uh, rules and regulations were passed by the Spanish kings that by the year 1605, you know, there's a, uh, what we 
uh, when we go back to Spanish history, we learn about the Spanish Inquisition. They passed rules and regulations, the Spanish themselves, their kings, their rulers, that by the year 1605, all the Muslims in Spain, they have to become Christian if they want to stay in Spain. Or if they want to stay in Spain, they do not become Christian, they will die. And this was the same for the Jews as well. All the Jews as well, the Spanish Inquisition applied to them as well. All the Jews as well, if they remain in Spain by the year 1605 and they do not become Christian, then they will also die. How did they, and did you know, more than 500,000 Muslims, the Arabs, the Amazigh Muslims, also known as Berbers, Muslims, more than 500,000 Muslims in Spain were burnt alive. Why? They did not become Christian. Why? Because they stayed in Spain. They did not go abroad. But you know what those Muslims said? Spain was their country. They were being born there for hundreds of years. How could they go over to Morocco? How could they go over to Algeria? And so on. You understand? But when the Muslims took over Spain, on any of the other, they did not tell people, you become Muslim or you die. You see the difference between the beauty of Islam and these people who call themselves, you know, the right, rightly guided. Yet what did they do? So much Islamophobia. Okay, okay, that's it. Uh, till I find some other people to debate, we speak with. Uh, from me to everyone, assalamu alaikum to the Muslims and to all the non-Muslims. Have a nice day, have a happy day. And I hope you read our Holy Quran translation and you really study Islam before you come to the conclusions about Islam. Because Islam is a beautiful religion. Islam is a peaceful religion. Islam is a, a successful way of life. Islam is a complete way of life. Okay? So that's it. Uh,